We live in a time when betrayal is wide spread. The interesting thing about betrayal is it usually happens from a kiss. In other words, there's a front, there's a pretension, there's a pretend at being family or friend, when in actuality inside there's animosity. They want to make you look bad. They want to destroy you. They want to mess with your mind and your emotions and get down into the depths of your soul, cause you sleepless nights, restlessness during the day, question marks about your sanity. It's all part of betrayal. Well, if someone betrays you, you think, well, okay, who were you? Because you weren't who I thought you were. And I thought I knew you, but I didn't know you at all. And I never knew you. And so all the things we did together, those weren't the things that I thought were happening. Something else was happening. And you're, you were someone else. And that means I'm someone else because I thought I knew what was going on. And clearly I don't. I'm some sort of blind sucker or the, or the victim of a psychopath or someone who's so naive that they can barely live. And I don't understand anything about human beings and I don't understand anything about myself. And I have no idea where I am now. I thought I was at home, but I'm not. I'm in a house and it's full of strangers. And I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow or next week or next year. It's like all of that certainty, that habitable certainty, collapses right back into the potential from which it emerged. And that's a terrifying thing. Some sort of snake appears, that's another way of thinking about it, and it's a really good way of thinking about it, because, you know, no matter how carefully you construct the little habitable area that's around you, there's always something you didn't take into account, and there's always something that can pop up its head and do you in. As a man once said, you tell a lie big enough, loud enough, and long enough, sooner or later people will believe you. Who said that? Hitler. When somebody mentions their name, you feel like you need to defend what it is that you want to tell the people because you know they told them a lie. Because betrayers take what is good about you and they reverse it on you. There's a story I want to tell you. There was a little turtle who lived on a pond and this serpent came to him and said, can you take me to the other side of the pond? And the serpent said, no way. I can't, can't enter in a relationship like that with you. You'll kill me. He said, now, that is not reasonable at all. Why would I kill you in the middle of the lake when we would both drown? He's like, oh, that makes sense. So he got on his back, and the little turtles just swimming. They got halfway across the lake, and all of a sudden he felt, and he said, why did you do that? And the serpent said, that's just the way I am. Some people, they just do it for sport. They just do it for fun. They just punk you for fun. I'm a professional. So I'm not going to let his little maneuvers get me externally worked up yeah. about it. It's not happening. You don't get to control my emotions like that externally. You might control them inside, yeah. but I won't let you see that ever. Most of the time, the repercussions and the best revenge that you can take is, is to ignore and outperform and be successful and rock on and forget about them and forget they even existed. That, to me, is the best possible way to go. Because mm -hmm. why would you let somebody interfere? Why would you commit any time, effort, resources to revenge when I would, the better thing to do is commit those time, resources, energy to success, to winning. Yeah. Yeah. Don't invest your time and energy to things that don't matter. The guy wronged you, cool, noted. You know that he's kind of a, kind of a, a, a devious dude. You know that, it's noted, cool, move on. Yeah. No, I'm not worried about it. Am I gonna put my trust in him again? Nope. I have helped people and gave to people who sued me, who lied on me who tried to kill me, who betrayed me, who broke my heart and let me down. I have been betrayed so many times that when you don't betray me, I'm shocked. I'm scared to believe that you might be real. I've been depending on people to inform me about who I am. I've been depending on what I see with my eyes to tell me how it is. But there is a well that does not come from an external source, and you can't see the pipes. There is within you a spirit that is greater than whatever is going on around you. And there you are trying to make a difference in their life, and the very people you're trying to help are giving you the most hell you ever had in all of your life. I couldn't even defend myself because I was shocked that you cared enough 
to write anything about me. Who am I that you would care anyway? Your hatred of me helped to tutor me into understanding my own significance.